1772 has to be the same Africa of 2017. And I cited the example, for example, of the way people eat, you know, people, people, you give people KK and fish, they say, I have to go Africa. That means I have to eat with my feet. Yeah, buddy. Now, whoever told you that eating with fingers is Africa? Who told you that? You don't need them, child. No, no, eating I'm with fingers in life. is simply an antiquated, unhygienic way of eating. What's what? Get ready like that. That's all. The British used to eat with their fingers. The Romans used to eat with their fingers. The Greeks used to eat with their fingers. The Japanese used to eat with their fingers. The Chinese used to eat with their fingers. After some time, they realized the finger gets too late. So now let's get utensils to be extension of our fingers. Some use chopsticks, some use steel or steel. Steel. Go to where correct them. So that they can clean it properly. Yeah. So it doesn't stick on it. To eat their food. I always say no. Everybody has moved, but we, we are committed. We must change. Play it our way. My problem is not that we eat with our fingers. Once in a while I do, once in a very long while, very long while. Recently I ate with my fingers and it felt so awkward because I took a vow with myself never to eat with my fingers again. Never. I said this thing, yeah, it's good for Kofa, not cheap, but he, he didn't have a spoon, he didn't have a fork, he didn't have a knife. I have a spoon, I have a fork, I have a knife. I have to do it differently. I'm, I'm sure if Confanochi comes and sees it, hey, you people, you are still eating in the same way I eat together. He himself will be upset with us. I took a, a, a personal vow years ago that I will, I will stop eating fufu. I stop uh, eating fufu. Yeah. Not that I don't like it, I like it. Not for health reasons. But for annoyance reasons. Any food that if you have to eat, you have to punish yourself this way. To eat. I said, I said what, what is the sense in this? And the annoying thing, when you're sweating, your sweat is going into the thing. You're missing your sweat. And all kinds of, now you don't even know, and, and even the, the water, there are all kinds of dry fufu in the corners, all kinds of, all kinds of bacteria. This, uh, this is an ecosystem for bacteria. Five years of bacteria, we're still howling the thing in there. And people say, this is what we like. Because, you know, Africans, we don't know what kills us. The thing is killing us, but we say it's a witch. You know, you're you know, so we, because we never identify objectively where our problem is, it's, it's a witch somewhere. So somebody poisoned him. So this, this happened, but we never come to think of it. This fufu will be pounding in this mortar, which is not sanitized, and has left over things in the corners, which becomes breeding grounds for all kinds of bacteria. What impact does it have on our life? I don't think we've researched that.
because somehow we equate a new way of thinking to being white and the old way of thinking to being black. I don't have a problem with that. The problem is I see a direct correlation between that attitude that makes us behave in those ways. And it's not only in Ghana, it's in Nigeria, it's in every African state.